Are you armed now? 30 minutes after police pulled him over, Roland Carnaby pulled away. And so began an hour-long chase between police and a man who had told officers he was an agent of the CIA. He claimed to be CIA when I first stopped him. The cops did not believe him, and when Carnaby stepped out of his car and turned to grab something, police shot and killed him. I think under every jurisdiction, the officers were justified in the action they took, however tragic it might be. But now this case is taking another twist. He definitely was a CIA agent. Randall Callanan represents Carnaby's wife. If the case makes it to trial, he plans to call Secret Service agents, FBI agents, even former President George H.W. Bush. In court documents, Callanan writes, quote, President Bush, former CIA director, is expected to testify regarding his prior associations and personal acquaintance with Mr. Carnaby and regarding Mr. Carnaby's involvement in uncovering two assassination plots against President Bush. A spokesman for the former president did not know enough about the case to comment, but Callanan says the testimony will prove Carnaby first fled from police because he had confidential CIA information in his car. And of course, he knew he was doing nothing wrong, so at that point, he knew it was an unlawful arrest. The facts show it was an unlawful arrest, and since he is in the CIA, he needs to uh, protect his information and his sources, and he fled. He says police were never properly trained for dangerous confrontations. But the city attorney says it's much more simple. What you have here is you have someone who was stopped for a traffic violation and then took off. A complicated man, a confusing chase, and now an intriguing case. Lee McGuire for CBS News.